Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today we'll have a look at an in vitro study of NMN on human cells. In the study, they saw that NMN increased the expression of both NAD and AMPK. It's interesting to see that AMPK was also increased as this is a key protein in energy regulation and autophagy and it decreases with age. First, a disclaimer that this in this video, video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper. NMN activates intracellular energy and approaches the prevention and improvement of aging. In this study, they were looking at the impact of NMN on AMPK and NAD activation. It was an in vitro study using MCF7 cells with NMN of one milligrams per milliliter. MCF7 are a line of human breast cancer cells. Let's have a quick look at AMPK, what it is and why they're looking for its activation in this study. AMPK stands for AMP activated protein kinase, where a kinase is an enzyme which catalyzes the transfer of a phosphate group. As the name suggests, one of the conditions which activate AMPK is AMP. AMP is adenosine monophosphate. Adenosine triphosphate is the energy currency of the cell and it provides this energy by breaking the phosphate bond and becoming first adenosine diphosphate and then adenosine monophosphate or AMP. AMP can then be reconverted to ATP by ATP synthase in the mitochondria. A buildup of AMP in the cell indicates a low energy condition which is sensed by AMPK and promotes catabolic processes and inhibits anabolic ones. More generally, exercise and fasting also activate AMPK. AMPK has several benefits in aging. In the paper, they specifically mention fighting chronic inflammation, improved insulin and glucose control by promoting the translocation of GLUT4, improving glucose uptake by the cell and glycolysis. It also promotes autophagy and is an inhibitor of mTOR. AMPK also enhances mitochondrial biogenesis and enhances immune system regulation. AMPK may also have a bidirectional activation with CERT1 both activating it and in turn being activated by it. So what did they see? In this slide, the control level is set at 100%. So they are comparing the AMPK activation in the treated to untreated cells rather than an absolute level. After one hour, the treated cells had 12.3-fold increase, five-fold after six hours, and eight-and-a-half-fold even after 24 hours. They also looked for the expression of NAD in the cells and found just over three-fold increase, showing that NMN does indeed increase intracellular NAD. The investigators chose to use a line of breast cancer cells. It would have been good to see how NMN affected the metabolism of a more normal line of cells, as the AMPK and NAD levels are impacted in cancer. It's good to see the positive impact on both NAD and AMPK expression, as both are known to decline with age and regulate key metabolic functions. In the case of AMPK, these include autophagy, mitochondrial health, and energy metabolism. Hopefully, we will see some studies looking at this in vivo soon.